Uh, but I do want to let's get to Phil, guys. Phil met with Sean Murray and had a beer with Sean Murray. It's like the dream that I've been wanting to have. <laughs> I, 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 I mean. I wish I could meet with Sean Murray and have a beer with him and uh, in, in private, not streaming, not nothing, just to have a chat. And Phil got a chance to do that. So, Phil, explain this. Where were you to begin with? Like, uh, well, you, you went to a 65 Days concert, right? Yeah, they, they were playing last night in London. They're doing a tour at the moment in the UK. So, I think it was their second UK date yesterday. They, um, they played, I think, Glasgow the night before. So, I went along with a friend and I've had these tickets for ages. Um, and obviously I got into 65 Days of Static because of No Man's Sky, I'd never heard of them before. And I absolutely love them. I'm like loads of loads of us guys really, really love them. Right. Uh, so the, the concert was kind of weird. They're doing this experimental, procedurally generated music at the moment. Ooh. Um, so kind of so like the, the ambient stuff that we hear on, uh, on the other CD? Yeah, really kind of dark. I mean, uh, the venue is a place called the Village Underground um, in East London. It's a, I've been there for a few gigs and it's a really cool place. It's like this great big, huge old building, brick building. And it was really dark. They didn't have any, any light really going off. It wasn't a, a stage show. So you could barely see anything. Uh, and the guys are on stage. There's only like three of them, I think, on stage, uh, kind of heads down, programming stuff, bashing away on drums, and just sort of ambient noise going on. Um, so it was, I, I mentioned this to someone, I think it was on Facebook, it was kind of like an art installation as opposed to a concert, really. It was, it was that weird. It's really neat. And in the back of my head, the whole way through, I'm just thinking, is that Sean? Is that Sean? Is that <laughs> Sean over there? <laughs> and my friend I'm with isn't a gamer. He doesn't know much about like, right. video games. But I'd sort of given him a heads up. I just said, look, if I go a bit weird tonight and ask you to take a photo, this is why, because there's this, this guy he might be here because it's his favorite band. Um, and there was one bit where there's a guy behind us and I was like, oh my God, that's him. It's him. It's definitely him. Oh, I'm getting really nervous. He's got a beard and it's definitely him. And then he was, like, <laughs> was he wearing a flannel? No, I think he was. Yeah, that was it. He was a flannel. <laughs> Beard, and I was convinced it was him, and then we realized he was speaking Polish. So, okay, that's not him. Uh, but it was a bit like that all night. It's yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of place in, this, this area in London, it's kind of known for being kind of very hipsterish, and everybody's got beards, and probably everybody wears flannel. So, it was, it was impossible to really tell. So, it was a good gig, and we left. and I said, Look, should we go and grab a beer? There's the, the night's kind of not really over yet. I haven't been out with this friend for ages. So we just walked down the road. This is why it's so weird, because it's all so random meeting Sean. Uh, if I'd bumped in it, into him at the gig, you kind of expect that. It's his favorite band. Um, oh, yeah. But the, the chances of, of meeting him later on, it's just kind of weird. Because So we just walked down this really busy street and saw the first bar we got to. Right, but, because okay, at this dude. point, you know, the concert's over with. You left the concert. Yeah. So you're, you're, number, you're, you're thinking your only chance to see Sean is probably going to be there. And now yeah, it's exactly. over with, so you just probably forget about it. You're, you're walking down the street, you, you decide to go to a bar, and, and then pick up from there. I mean, exactly. And and also, this part of London, there's bars everywhere. It's not like um, there's only one, so you're definitely going to all go there. They could, we could have gone anywhere. So we go into this bar, and we're sitting at the bar and have a beer, and I'm chatting with, with my friend, and he's like, okay, I've got to go, I've got to get the train. And I said, okay, I'm just going to stick around for another 20 minutes and finish my beer, I don't want to rush off. Uh, and again, that's kind of weird. Normally, I wouldn't do that. Normally, I'd say, yeah, let's go. So I just, for some reason, decided to stay. Right. Glance around, and oh my God, there he is sitting at the table with a couple of people. Who? Uh, Who's he sitting with? He's sitting with, I assumed it was just kind of friends or colleagues. I found out later it was, it was one or two of the guys from 65 Days. Okay. Um, so I didn't recognize them because you couldn't really see what they looked like on the stage because it was so dark. I was curious if it was uh, some Allison Smith members. I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you this. Well, I did take a photo, which I'm not going to share because it was a it was a stealth photo, and I felt really, really <laughs> solid snake uh, taking so pictures in the bars, John Murray. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm sitting at this table drinking my beer, pretending to look at Twitter or something, and actually taking a photo of a guy who's having a private evening out with his friends. It's creepy. It's wrong. <laughs> so. As I did it, I thought that's really creepy. You mustn't put this anywhere. So I'm not going to show it to him because it's just right. it's not it's not the right thing to do. Um, and then I think oh, I can't go over to them. They're having a nice evening. You don't want to interrupt. I don't want to be that guy spoiling their night. And I just think, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean Murray, for God's sake. 
And then he comes up and walks over to the bar to get a drink right next to me. So it just made sense then at that point to come oh, yeah. and say, he's now he's now he's in your space, dude. Now yeah, you can. Exactly. <laughs> So I just said, uh, look, I'm really sorry to, to kind of interrupt. I can see you having a night out, but I'm a really big No Man's Sky fan. And I just wanted to say hi and thanks for what you've done. And he was so nice. The first thing he said was, um, oh, that's great. Do you want a beer? And I was just about to buy him one because it's like, that guy deserves a beer from me. Right, right. <laughs> He's bought me joy. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, like, yeah, sure, that's brilliant. So we just had a, a quick chat. Um, first, we started talking about the band. Um, so he was saying, what did I think of it? And yeah. he, he was saying that he'd, he'd been saying to the guys from the band that maybe they should have come on first and done a little explanation of what it is they're doing. Because it is kind of, it's strange. It's, it's, not, it's not like the music you've heard them on their, on their albums, nothing you recognize. It's, it's this procedurally generated experiment in a way. And he said, um, but they're all too shy. They don't want to. <laughs> 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 they want to get up there, get their heads down and make their music. Um, and he was saying that he uses it for his running, which is what I do as well. I, I listen to the soundtracks when I go running. And he said they didn't want it, want their music to become some kind of soundtrack, so yeah. they're deliberately avoiding that. Um, and then I said, I actually mentioned you, Cobra, but I don't think he heard what I said. I just said, I don't suppose it's a bit cheeky, but have you got any secret info I could pass on to Cobra? Um, <laughs> And I didn't know at this point that the video had dropped because I'd been out all evening and I think all of that happened during the gig. It must have done looking at the timeline when you were streaming last night. Uh, what time did you stream yesterday? I don't even remember. Um, it was all just a just really quick, you know, just a really quick situation. Yeah. Uh, seen it and it went live. I, I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, Ephraim, yeah. thank you so much, buddy, for uh, uh, follow, uh, supporting us. Go ahead, bud. But yeah, um, so I think all of that happened cause while we were at the gig because I said, have you got any inf any secret info you could give us? And he said, well, there's been a leak today. There's a video that's gone, gone out that wasn't supposed to. Um, so that was kind of a surprise to me as well. I didn't realize. I looked as soon as, as soon as I left and found out what was going on. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I just thanked him for the game. And I told him I've been playing since day one and how I loved it since day one. And, kind of found it so surprising there was such a crazy fallout so immediately and I just described the thing I always say to anybody uh, when we talk about the game that day one moment when you leave the planet when you fixed up your ship and you finally leave the planet for the first time uh -huh. and your cockpit burns red as you hit the atmosphere and it I just remember whooping and shouting playing up that game that yeah, day man. And I said, that was just, it blew my mind. It was such a brilliant experience. And he said, he really appreciated that. And I'd made his evening. I think his words, I wrote this down actually on my phone on the way home so I don't forget it. He said, oh, you've made my night, which was, yeah, that was cool. That was such a nice thing for him to say. That's um, very awesome. Yeah, you weren't too over pushy. You know what I mean? You were, it, you know, like a, a, a normal fan to run into. You, you weren't like, uh, hey, Sean Murray, can you sign my chest, please? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Exactly. I don't I mean, think. I, I was talking with my wife about whether or not if I met him should you get a selfie or not and I said well I might get Pete my friend to take a photo of us uh, if I'm lucky enough to meet him but I don't know if I'd do a selfie it all depends on the on the situation and I didn't because he's out having drinks with his friends it would it, it felt I, I wrote this L plays um, an MZK on Twitter it would have felt a little intrusive I think to have done that so that was it. That was my little moment with him, and he went back to his table and carried on. And I sat there thinking, "Oh my god!" Yeah, dude. Yeah, I bet you were. You, I bet you were on cloud ninety. You were sore, oh, yeah. man. I would yeah, have been. Totally. I was totally starstruck as well. Um, and as I walked out, I just kind of went over and shook his hand, said, "Thanks a lot. And thanks for the beer." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. What's your name?" And I told him I was Phil, and he said, "Yeah, have a good evening." And that was it. So off I went, thinking, "Wow, that was pretty cool." Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's just it's just all those things. Like I said, uh, I was hoping I'd meet him, and I didn't at the gig. And I went to a random bar, and I happened to stay there a little longer than I would normally. And that all led to meeting the guy. So very very cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, freaking pretty... cool, man. What a great story, dude. And I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm proud that you were able to have that. You know that was uh yeah that's yours that's yours, dude. Yeah. In... It's nice. Oh, and he wasn't wearing a flannel shirt. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, he wasn't. He was not, no. I, know, oh, I mean, no. he might be wearing under his jacket or something, but... Hey, the other thing that I remember as well that surprised me, he's a lot taller than I expected. 
Um, I'm six foot tall, and I think he's a little bit taller than me. Wow. I didn't realize he was he was a kind of tall guy. So just, yeah, it's just something else. Wow. Well, he does seem uh, like he's a little bit tall in the uh, pictures and videos. Uh, yeah. I guess, yeah. <clears throat> um, well, that's pretty really nice. awesome, dude. Uh, go ahead. It's super, super nice. it's super nice guy. I mean, you you, you kind of hear that that saying, "Never meet your heroes." Um, but he was he was probably nice. I mean, he's having his evening out. He doesn't need some random guy coming up and interrupting his evening. Uh, but he bought me a drink, and he was completely fine to have a chat and everything. And and of course, afterwards, you start thinking, "Oh man, maybe I should have asked him this, and should have asked him that, and should have taken a photo." But actually, I think I did exactly right. I didn't over push it. I didn't take right. the time up. Very pleasant. Um, and now I've got a great story to tell. Yeah, I mean, you got to think about <clears throat> for the longest time in development, not a whole lot of people knew what No Man's Sky was. We had a big community, but we were sparse uh, and spread out on the internet, right? But uh, so, because I used to ask people day in and day out that I would see that I knew played video games, I'd be like, hey, do you know what No Man's Sky is? They would all say mm -hmm. no. You know, I'm like, nah, nah, never heard of that. Nah, never heard of that during its development. So he probably doesn't get, I mean, it's more popular now. But uh, he's he, he, uh, that rock star view that we used to, uh, you know, we used to view Sean Murray and still do as a rock star, you know, uh, a game developer, um, rock star genius. And but a, most of the world probably don't see him that way. So he yeah. probably doesn't get approached very much. So it yeah, was probably. Yeah, he's got thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was probably uh, uh, pleased that you did that. I mean, that's pro probably made his day, dude. 100%. Well, I've seen also what he's. Um he wrote something shortly after um, uh, Atlas Rises came out and um, uh, no sorry sorry after Next uh, came out and he was doing a lot more interviews in the press and he wrote about some of the stuff he'd received positive stuff after all the hate was dropping yeah. and how that was the stuff that was keeping him going and he really appreciated it mm -hmm. um, and it, that at the time actually made me think I wish I'd written to him because you kind of think well it doesn't make any difference uh, there's so many fans out there. All of us love the game. He probably knows that, but I think that stuff really does make a difference. Oh, of course um, it does. Yeah, I genuinely think he, him, and his team were reading all those messages of support that they were getting, and they were they went on lockdown, didn't they? As we know, they went silent. Sure but did. I think yeah. Every every positive message and every good bit of feedback from people like us really meant something at that point. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, um, like you say, just a, just a normal guy. That's really cool, man. Super jealous. Uh, guys, I want to thank Jeff D for supporting us on Patreon just a few minutes ago. Thank you so much, Jeff. Uh, guys, we're talking to Phil. Phil got a chance to meet Sean Murray in a bar. And uh, he, Sean Murray bought Phil a drink. And uh, they had a little conversation. And uh, super jealous. Uh, Phil didn't overstep it. Didn't ask for... <clears throat> uh, he didn't ask for an autograph or a selfie or anything like that. But I bet you <laughs> kept the beer bottle, didn't you? Uh, well, it was a pint glass. Oh! So I couldn't. 